Hello, Stitchy world! I am Anna Gutova and this is Art Mishka Cross Stitch Plus 2. If you don't know me yet, I am Anna and I am a cross stitch designer and the creative force behind all Art Mishka Cross Stitch patterns. You can find my patterns in my own Etsy shop or you can spot them uh, from the very many retailers around the world uh, if you're interested i'm gonna leave you the link in the description so please find me have a look at my designs and i hope we will be friends so what's happened with Artmishka cross stitch in june first of all we keep doing going with um, uh, our stitch along project animal alphabet uh, two more animals joined us this month the last two, which is Numbat and the little cute owl. Here they are. I can, I hope you can see them all. Uh, you can join us any moment. At the moment of your signing in, you will get the uh, all ready parts, the patterns for all ready parts, and uh, every new one will be delivered to your email address be weekly. So you can join anytime. You don't have any time frames. You can stitch at your own pass, whatever, relax, nice and calm stitching. Uh, thanks so much for sharing your results. I enjoy, I love, uh, it's really my heart is melting when I'm looking through your finishing that, that you are sending to, to me directly or I see them posted on Instagram, on the Facebook. Thanks so much. I'm so impressed. I, most of all, I totally love how creative you are with finishing those um, little designs. It's, it's me, I'm stitching them all together, so it's going to be one big piece. But I've seen uh, how the, these teachers are doing books, uh, the toys, uh, just, just a smaller postcards just just amazing thanks so much it's such an honor for me really to be able to provide something for you that you can enjoy you can stitch thank you i'm really see my heart is full of gratitude what other uh things we finished i have completed the green aquarelle green aquarelle is aquarelle i don't know how to pronounce it correctly in english so green watercolors let's say <laughs> green watercolors this is the second design in the range the first one was blue so i i love both of them so much i love green one i love blue one and as i said it's going to be the third one which is not even which has not been even designed yet, but I'm going to start working on it very quickly. Um, I really enjoyed every single stitch in these both designs because they're so bright and also they're very simple to stitch, you know? Uh, they don't use many colors. I believe that one uses 11 DMC shades, this one a little bit more. And but they are very easy color blocks, so you don't need to change your thread too often. Possibly, I already said about it, but this is really what I enjoyed myself. I stitch them both on this simple 28 count even leaf, and you see how great they are. I totally love them. Um, I was thinking actually to finish them in the very traditional white frames and I think a finish like that they will make a really very stylish home decor for any home. So it also can be something useful that you can make for yourself or maybe for your friends. Um, when I was stitching this design um, I got many compliments to the accuracy of my cross stitching and that made me think that um, possibly the stitchers would be interested to know how I make my stitches quite neat. I'm actually quite proud of them. I will try to show it to you closer so maybe you can see that they're not bad, I would say. And um, I have done the 
post about my way of stitching, which is called railroad technique. Um, I was absolutely amazed about how many comments, how many amazing feedback I got from that post. That I thought that everybody knows about this railroad technique and actually turned out no that there were so many people who never heard of it or who heard about it but they didn't know what it means and 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 how many really very grateful comments i got where people were thanking me for sharing that so i'm gonna leave you a link to read this post uh, the railroad stitching is very simple. I guess when you read it, it will be maybe easier than when I'm going to explain it now. Uh, so please read it if you're interested. Uh, um, it would be very helpful if it will be useful information for you as well. Uh, if you remember the last time, I promised to show you the collection of my designs that I was that I was uh, stitching on the blue Ida with DMC at Y flows. That was the uh, project that I finished last month and I was showing it to you. And then I said that I actually, it's not my first experience to use DMC at Y. DMC at Y, it is the threads with the lyrics um, to use this uh, specific threads on the blue, dark blue, um, Aida and here these are the other designs that I was well actually I've done them quite long a few years ago so which is the same story it is DMC etoile this shining beautiful uh, floss and how beautiful they are on the dark blue Aida you see so I have them. Actually, these are the designs that I get out uh, closer to Christmas because they really create this kind of a holiday atmosphere in my home. And as usual, I finish them very simple. I just stretch them over the carton board. Like, <laughs> and uh, when I don't need them, they're just safely sitting in my in my wardrobe. And then when I need to add a little bit of festive mood to my home, I take them out and here it is. Uh, what else? I started working on a new stitching. Uh, it is my beautiful hydrangea. I still keep <laughs> have difficulties with pronouncing this word. Uh, hydrangea, I just started it, but the beautiful vase is almost done. Uh, I start stitching it on 28 count Murano from Zweigert with these blue splashes because it's not gonna be a full coverage piece. I thought that those blue splashes will add some kind of painting-like atmosphere to this design. And uh, so far it's been very pleasant because you see it's also here a very simple blocks of, of uh, red. So in uh, the last weekend I finished 2,800 stitches in one weekend. <laughs> Uh, but also it's thanks to my husband and my little son because the weather was very nice outside and my son decided that it's time to learn to ride the bike and since my husband was helping him, uh, mama was enjoying her time uh, working on the new project. So here it is my hydrangea. And the most important, most exciting news for myself uh, is a new design that I'm working on and but before I'll show you the work in progress I will tell you a little bit about what it is and why I'm doing it uh, I guess everybody in the craft world knows the word Zweigert Zweigert is a company uh, producing the fabric since if I'm not mistaken, 1887, so nearly 150 years. And um, they, the cross stitchers know them as a producer of the cross stitch fabric. The kilters know them as a producer, as a manufacturer for kilt fabric. 
So they make, I guess, everything. I, I don't know possibly anybody who never in his life used Zweigert fabric. Amazing quality. I'm actually a happy owner of some. Oh, <laughs> this is my <laughs> treasure. You see, this is Vagrant company, so I have some. So you see, I like shopping from Vagrant. So company is Vagrant. Every year, release, releases the um, designer creations uh, issue with a different cross-stitch designs. Actually, not only cross-stitch, mainly cross-stitching, but also there are different techniques where they are asking different designers, very talented, amazing, famous around the world to design for them uh, something for this booklet. And guess what? This year they asked me to design for them uh, something for the new booklet, which will be issued in 2022. Uh, the, the pride I felt, <laughs> I guess you can imagine how I felt in that moment, it's, it's indeed. I'm very proud because um, I, I've seen the, the, the previous issues of this booklet and the designers uh, that were published over there, and they are those that I was basically <laughs> learning how to stitch it using those designs. It's, uh, I don't know, Michael Powell, for example, um, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you see, I cannot even remember anybody else, but but believe me, uh, if if you didn't see it yet, so please, I think on their website they are also publishing that. So, the theme for the new issue is happiness, and I started to design uh, one of uh, little darlings. It is actually will be an addition to my little darling collection. I hope you can see it here on my computer screen because I don't have it anywhere else yet so but that is for me really my idea of happiness a little little girl uh, on the swing with a lot of flowers so what can describe a word happiness better than this well I don't know for sure there are a lot of other things but this is me it's my design so that's uh, what I'm doing um, I'm going to as soon as I finish uh, designing the chart I'm going to stitch the piece I'm going to send it to Zweger to Germany and they will present it in the uh, the textile fair in Köln that is going to be uh, it will take place, if I'm not mistaken, in March 2022. Anyway, so it is such an honor for me. Uh, I was I was really extremely happy when I received the mail from them, and that is a great achievement and a great milestone. So, please be happy for me. That is, uh, these are the 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 the, the floss, the, my my color palette for my happiness piece. So, yeah. And I'm very excited about it. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of responsibility. Um, by the way, what I forgot to mention also in June, I released one free design, which is, um, I think, very suitable for, for summer. It's a hello summer vacation. You can download it for free in my Facebook group. I'm gonna also leave the link for you so you can comfortably go over there. And also in my Instagram account and the stories, you will find this chart. It's very simple. It uses only two uh, shades of threads. So when I was designing it, I was thinking about uh, summer vacations, about the traveling. So I was thinking that many of us would like to take our stitching with us when we are going to the beach, when we are taking the plane, when we are going somewhere. So, and uh, having to take only two shades of threads it will be quite easy it uses zero back stitching only cross stitching so i was thinking that it will be a perfect thing to detain you while you are sunbathing or while you have to spend a couple of hours in the plane if you are going to wherever you are going <laughs> in summer so i hope you will enjoy it um so have a great july i am going for vacation next week 
I hope you will also have a great uh, holidays as well if you are if you have to work so that I hope you will not get too tired because of that thanks so much thank you for being here with me and uh, bye bye